Okay, now that we have Apache installed, Apache web server, and we have PHP installed to the web server, it's time to install MySQL server. So that's what we're going to do now. So we're going to do a um, sudo apt-get update to start with. All right, and then when that's done, what we're going to do is type clear, clear the screen, and then I'm going to do a sudo app-get install mysql-server. All right, do we want to do that? We're going to say yes, y for yes. Okay. Okay. What we need to do is we need to set a password for the root user of the MySQL server. Um, we do not want we do not want to leave it blank because that would be a security risk. So I'm going to go in here. Let's see here, and type in my password. All right. Then I'll hit Tab, and then hit Enter, and repeat the password for good measure and then tab and then enter okay looks like it's done alright so that went pretty good I'm going to clear the screen here and now that we have the MySQL or MySQL server installed we're going to want to install PHP MyAdmin which is a PHP browser-based interface that makes it a lot easier to manage um, your databases in MySQL. So let's do that next. So we're going to do a sudo apt-get install lib apache2 dash mod dash auth dash mysql and then space php5 dash mysql and space php my admin okay so we're installing three things here we're installing lib apache2 dash mod dash auth dash my, mysql uh, then we're putting in a space and the second thing we're installing is php5 dash mysql and then a space and the last thing we're installing is php my admin so that's everything we need we'll hit enter and do we want to continue type y and then hit enter yes and it's going to download all of the necessary packages and we will receive a prompt okay please choose the web server that should be automatically configured to run PHP my admin okay so we want um, to use Apache 2 so what we'll do is we'll hit the spacebar to select Apache 2 and then hit tab and then enter for okay Okay. Configure database for PHP MyAdmin with dbconfig-common and what we want to do for this is hit yes so we'll hit enter and then we need the password of the database administrative user so the password we put in for MySQL or MySQL we need to put in again right now. Alright then I'll hit tab and OK and we need a uh, 
password for P to register with the database server. If left blank, a random password will be generated. So we're going to put in another password for the um, for PHP my admin. Okay, so this could be a separate password or it could be the same one. And a password confirmation for good measure. All right, and we're done. I'm going to type clear and hit enter. Before we're done, a handy thing to do is to put in a symbolic link so it makes it easy to get to PHP my admin. So what we'll do is we'll put sudo ln for link dash s for symbolic link and we're going to do it to the root forward slash user forward slash share forward slash php my admin and then we're going to put that link into our web directory so that's root var dub 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 and we'll call it php my admin. All right, there we go. Okay, so now all we need to do is test it out. So we'll open up Firefox and what we can do now is we can go to the PHP my admin page that we just made the link for. So PHP my admin. And if we hit enter, you'll see there it is. Now, if you do not see this come up in your um browser window what you might want to do is is do a sudo and then you might have to do an etc forward slash init.d forward slash apache2 and then do a restart so you might have to restart your apache web server uh, for this to work if you do not if that's if you get an error when you go to your web browser and you try to reach PHP my admin but we didn't get it so we don't have to do this but just in case um, I have had to do that in the past restart my web server for it to work okay and now that we're here let's see if we can log in so we'll type in root and then the password that we put and hit enter and no nope. and we're in all right, so we're into PHP my admin, and you can see that we've connected to the MySQL server. Databases, we could create a database. First, DB, create, and now you've created a DB da database. There it is. So now you could create tables and columns in your database, and you could start creating multiple databases and serving them with uh, MySQL and then interfacing and managing it with PHP MyAdmin.